Having the best mouse for Valorant is almost compulsory for you to be able to ace the game. A precise, ergonomic gaming mouse will be your perfect companion during your journey of mastering those skills in becoming a pro and getting those headshots in Valorant. Even when you've got the potential to be a game master, an unresponsive peripheral or Valorant mouse will keep you at a great disadvantage against your opponents. Hello guys, today's video we're taking a look at the three best mice for Valorant of 2022. And if you want more information, we'd also put the links in the description box down below. Thanks. Starting up our list with number 3, we've got the Razer Viper Ultimate. Razer always manages to stay on top of the charts thanks to its excellent brand value and high-quality products. Their Viper Ultimate has been one of their best sellers since the day it was launched and for all the good reasons. Not only for Valorant, but this mouse is suited for pretty much every game. There's a word that perfectly sums up the aesthetics of the Viper Ultimate iconic. With the infamous Razer logo and simplistic design language, the Viper Ultimate has surely created an identity of its own. It features a truly ambidextrous design with two side buttons on either side, and build quality is a solid 10 out of 10. Razer Viper Ultimate weighs in at just 2.72 ounces, making it one of the lightest mice out there. Comfort has always been a strong point of Razer peripherals, and it's no different with the Viper Ultimate. It features a low profile with rubber on the sides for better grips, and it's not very large either, so it shouldn't bother those with small hands. Under the hood, the Viper Ultimate features Razer's latest and greatest focus optical sensor. This sensor has a maximum DPI of 20,000 and a tracking speed of 650 IPS. When you're playing a fast-paced shooter like Valorant, those numbers come in quite handy. In addition, Razer has also equipped the Viper Ultimate with smart features like motion sync, asymmetric cutoff, and smart tracking. The use of PTFE skates allows for a smooth user experience while playing Valorant. A rechargeable Li-Ion battery rated at 70 hours of endurance will last you through the longest of Valorant gaming sessions. You can also buy a wireless Razer charging dock for better convenience. With a click latency of 0.2 millisecond, the Viper Ultimate proves to be at par with its wired competitors. Razer has opted to use optical switches instead of the more traditional mechanical ones for better longevity. To be specific, the switches are rated at up to a whopping 70 million clicks. Last but not the least, the mouse can be controlled using Razer's Synapse 3.0 software. As with any other mouse, you can create and store five onboard profiles for all your favorite games. The Synapse toolkit also allows you to create macros and reprogram all eight buttons. There's obviously not a lot of RGB to play with on the mouse itself, except for the backlit Razer logo. However, you can still configure the lighting on the wireless charging dock and sync it with other Razer peripherals. In simple words, the Razer Viper Ultimate has got all that it takes to be entitled the best wireless mouse for Valorant. If the final mouse is a bit too overwhelming to your taste, then the Viper Ultimate is your next best option. Next up at number 2, we've got the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. Before the final mouse came in with the Starlight 12, this was hailed as the lightest gaming mouse ever released. The design language is pretty simple and minimalistic with an elevated hump, making it suitable for claw and fingertip grip styles. The X Starlight features a false ambidextrous design as there are no side buttons for left-handed users. An impressive thing to note is that Logitech managed to achieve a 2.2 ounces weight without a honeycomb shell, which is lighter than most mice with a honeycomb shell. While reviewing the mouse, let me tell you there are absolutely no issues with the build quality of the Superlight in case you were thinking that the weight must be a result of low quality. Although there are no rubber sides, the mouse still feels grippy and does not slip out of the hand. Still, Logitech has included a grip tape in the box for your convenience. In terms of performance, it packs Logitech's most accurate and renowned Hero 25K sensor. The sensor is rated at 25,600 dpi and has a 400 IPS tracking speed with no acceleration whatsoever. Pair with an extremely low click latency and you'll get the ultimate performance. The mouse switches are equipped with click tensioning, which reduces the force needed to register a click. There is no RGB here and an efficient sensor grants a 70-hour battery life to this mouse, which is amazing. However, you can get the Logitech PowerPlay mouse pad to charge your mouse while actually using it. We believe that the PowerPlay is better than Razer's charging dock since you can actually play and charge simultaneously. Logitech's Lightspeed wireless technology is one of the best wireless solutions and provides on-par performance with wired mice. It boasts a response rate of as low as 1 ms, however, Razer has them beat with a 0.2 ms latency. As for the switches, there is no confirmation by Logitech, but reportedly, they have implemented online switches rated for 20 million clicks, which are pretty underwhelming for today's standards. 
The mouse gliding experience on this Valorant mouse is highly smooth, all thanks to the non-additive PTFE glides. The software compatible with the Logitech G Pro X Superlite is the Logitech G Hub software. It offers plenty of customization options, starting from the DPI and polling rate to reprogramming of buttons, and also onboard memory. However, there is no RGB, which is a bummer. The mouse is extremely easy to carry due to its compact shape and lightweight. All in all, the Logitech G Pro X Superlite, the lighter version of the original G Pro, is an excellent pick for Valorant players due to its on-point accuracy, smooth gliding, and amazing battery life. Overall, we title Logitech G Pro X Starlight as the best professional mouse for Valorant, which is also evident by its popularity among the professional Valorant players. The last product on our list is the Finamouse Starlight 12. Starting off with the best all-rounding mouse choice for Valorant, we have the Finamouse Starlight 12. This Valorant mouse excels in every department, so it is a prime choice for most Valorant players. Starting off with the looks, the Starlight 12 does not disappoint. It looks noticeably impressive in the gold color, with unique styling around the buttons. The build quality of Final Mouse Starlight 12 is amazing. It features a honeycomb shell made out of a magnesium alloy that is both sturdy and lightweight. At 1.48 ounces is an incredible value for a mouse's weight. Obviously, this Valorant mouse is a bit pricey, but there are some alternatives that offer exactly the same aesthetics. More on that in our review. Final Mouse Starlight 12 has an ambidextrous shape, so that's good news for our left-handed friends out there. The design itself is quite comfortable and perfectly suits all kinds of grips including palm, fingertip, and claw. It might not be very well suited for large hands though, considering that this is a relatively small mouse. As much as it is pleasing to look at, the Starlight 12 is equally impressive to work with. It is powered by the Final Sensor Optical Sensor rated at 3200 dpi. The polling rates are adjustable between 125Hz, 500Hz, and 1000Hz, and the minimum liftoff distance is 1.2mm. All these figures work together to produce an amazing gaming experience, especially in Valorant. There's no bundled software with the Starlight 12, so the settings are all adjusted using dedicated buttons on the mouse itself. Thanks to its ultra-lightweight and plug-and-play functionality, the Starlight 12 is extremely portable as well. The premium feel is continued onto the buttons that make use of mechanical switches for greater durability and satisfying clicks. The click latency of 15ms is good, but it could have been better. The PTFE feet are a prime example of the Starlight 12's solid build quality. The only recurring issue that stands with pretty much all Final Mouse mice is their limited availability. For this very reason, Final Mouse Starlight 12 sells for higher prices than your average gaming mouse. Another thing worth mentioning is that the inclusion of micro USB instead of Type-C. Having a Type-C cable is always nice to see, especially for a mouse priced at this point. To conclude, while the Final Mouse Starlight 12 is extremely light and feels great to gain with, its size might be a bit concerning for people with larger hands. On that note, the Final Mouse Starlight 12 is a star candidate on our list. It is the ultimate choice that excels in every department, hence being the best overall mouse for Valorant in 2022.